Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we will work on video playback speed and also we are going to add one more feature and that is when firstly user play a video, we will check the width and height of that video. If width is greater than height, we will play the video in landscape mode and if width is less than height, we will play the video in portrait mode. Now for video playback speed, we will firstly create an object for playback parameters in these commented lines here playback parameters variable will be parameters now below here in position 7 create if position equal to 7 means user click on speed we will show alert dialog for choosing the playback speed firstly create alert dialog dot builder alert dialog new alert dialog dot builder pass video player activity dot this as context and alert dialog dot set title title will be select playback speed and here dot set positive button positive button will be ok and that will be null now create array type string string array type items in curly braces double course first text will be 0.5x that is slow speed than normal and the second double course 1x that is normal speed and the third one double course 1.5x fourth one keep the third one as 1.25x and fourth one is 1.5x take the fifth one as 2x now create int variable for checked item take it minus 1 now alert dialog dot set single choice items the first parameter items the second is checked items that is minus one because we do not want any of item to be selected as default so that's why we take it as minus one if we want the one x normal speed option to be selected as default then we have to pass here one but as we do not want any of the option to be selected as default that's why we write here minus one and after checked item new dialog interface on click listener in on click create switch case pass which here case zero break copy these two lines control v control v control v take it as 1 2 3 4 these are 5 items if user selects 0 0.5x we will write code here in 0 and the same case for all these if user selects 0 0.5x speed we will take the speed as firstly we have to take the float variable for speed here take float name will be speed now here if user select the 0.5x we will take the speed as 0.5f take f here and parameters as new playback parameters 
pass speed here and player dot set playback parameters pass parameters here now if user select the one x normal speed we will keep the speed to normal speed equal to 1f and and parameters equal to new playback parameters pass speed here and player dot set playback parameters pass parameters here now if user select this 1.25x we will change the speed to 1.25 speed equal to 1.25f and parameters same thing we can copy code from here control c and control v if user select 1.5 and 2x we will change it accordingly using speed equal to 1.5f and the same thing copy these two lines paste them here and the last one is 2x here in fifth position speed equal to 2x 2f copy these two lines paste them here and also take here default break below here alert dialog the variable will be alert and here alert dialog dot create dot create and alert dot show now the last thing we have to do for playback speed is in play video method right here here we have to add player load set playback parameters pass here parameters that's it for this playback speed now we'll go for the second feature that is screen orientation we'll check the screen orientation and play the video accordingly create here method private void screen orientation create try catch here try catch exception e in try we have to check the width and height of video using bitmap Firstly, create object for media metadata retriever. Object name as retriever. New. Now create object for bitmap. Bitmap. String for getting path. M video files dot get position dot get path now create URI object URI URI dot pass pass path here now retriever dot set data source context will be this and pass URI as second parameter now bitmap equal to retriever dot get frame at time get frame at time here here we will get the video height and width in int variables int first one for video width bitmap dot get width and second for height video height 
bitmap dot get height now we will check the video height and width and change the orientation accordingly if if video width video width is greater than video height then what we have to do is to change the orientation set requested orientation activity info dot screen orientation landscape if the width is greater than video height we are changing the orientation to landscape and in else here in else we are changing the orientation as portrait activity info dot screen orientation as portrait if it's catch any exception we are going to use log e here log e Retrieve and screen orientation remove it and now we have to pass the screen orientation method in on create now here in on create below the video files and video files we have to pass the method screen orientation make sure you pass the method below and video files now let's run the app Our app is installed upon the app. Open folder. Now you can see if I click on video, it will check the width and height of that video and play the video accordingly. Click on this video. You can see the video is playing in landscape Joy. mode because the width is greater than height. Rotate it to portrait mode. Now let's check the speed. Click on speed, you can see this alert dialog 0.5x, slower speed, you can see the video is playing in slow speed, normal speed, 1.25x speed and 2x speed. Speed feature is working fine. Now that's all for this tutorial, see you in the next tutorial, until then Allah Hafiz.